In the northeast of England, we have one of the UK's four busiest fishing ports, North Shields Fish Keep. However, much of the fish landed here is already contracted for export before it's even reached the shore. It's therefore part of a rather long and complicated supply chain. Over the past five years, our team here at Food Nation have worked in partnership with Newcastle University as part of the Strength to Food project. Over this time, we've been piloting innovative approaches and activities locally. The ultimate aim has been to establish how to stimulate a shorter supply chain with regards to the fishing industry, whilst improving consumer perception towards a wider variety of fish and sustainable sourcing. To begin with, we needed to understand the barriers and opportunities with regards to fish supply chain by speaking to those people and places connected to it. Consultation was carried out with local restaurants and key people in and around the fish keep. Uh, langoustines is the most abundant species here. Uh, it's a high value species as well, so you don't need to catch an awful lot of it to, to make a lot of money. Fish wise, the most abundant species here is whiten. Really, langoustines are getting a little bit more popular, but we still export 95% of what we catch here. On side, uh, seafood consumption in the northeast is typically underrepresented on household and restaurant menus, both in terms of quantity and variety. Seafood consumption in the northeast is typically based on familiarity, with the most consumed species being the well-known Big Five, so cod, haddock, salmon, tuna and prawns. And we found that there are three main barriers to shortening the fish supply chain. Firstly, a lack of public knowledge with regards to local and sustainability messaging. Secondly, low levels of confidence in seafood cooking skills. And this leads to a preference for pre-prepared, marinated and processed fish. Finally, the prevalence of fish dishes uses only a handful of the more popular and familiar species. The training programme was designed to demonstrate the impact it can have in stimulating a demand for more locally landed seafood to be on menus in restaurants. Hi, my name's Christy and um, I am the Youth Programme Manager of Food Nation and I look after um, a number of different projects including our Seafood and Catering project which gives um, employability skills uh, to young people aged 16 to 25, teaching them lots of seafood based um, preparation and cooking. I get the trainees to come up with ideas and a theme for what they would like to make. Over 12 months, the following activity took place and was supported by our local North of Tyne Fisheries Local Action Group. The Seafood Skills Checklist was used as a training and evaluation tool. It enables us to demonstrate a large increase in confidence after just one exposure to learning a new skill. The checklists are a tool that can be used in restaurant settings to establish what skills are already existing in the team and what skills are missing, therefore triggering a training need. Trainees also visited industry experts and those supplying fish and seafood products locally. The focus of the visits was to connect trainees to the suppliers and vice versa. Research showed that there is potentially a disconnect between supplier and buyer, therefore these visits aim to strengthen that link. A number of hands-on cookery classes were held to give trainees new skills and exposure to a wide variety of seafood. The impact of the workshops was vast, with both learning on fish preparation skills, as well as seeing a great increase in confidence, self-esteem and motivation to try new things. Throughout the 12-month programme, we worked intensively with 15 young people, who all demonstrated an improvement in skill and confidence with seafood. All our trainees agreed that these are skills that they could use if working in restaurant settings, but also that they were really keen to practice and repeat at home. We believe that more initiatives that inspire a new generation about local, seasonal and sustainable fish could have a longer term impact and see a gradually increasing demand for a wider variety of fish in local venues. Seafood Supper Clubs took place at a local restaurant and were hosted by our seafood trainees. The aim of the event was not only to provide the trainees with an opportunity to use their new skills, but also acted as a consumer engagement activity. This was in reaction to some of the learning from our initial consultation showing that consumers typically relied on familiarity when it came to their seafood choices, both at home and when eating out. 
Over their delivery of 11 supper clubs, 95 local people attended. The events achieved the outcome of inspiring people to try new fish dishes and increase their motivation to cook and eat a wider variety of seafood. Prior to attending the supper club, only 14% of people regularly cooked seafood at home. Following their attendance, 100% were inspired to eat a new type of seafood that they would otherwise not have eaten, and 43% stated they would be attempting to recreate some of the dishes in their own home. The supper clubs are therefore a great way to increase consumer exposure of a wide variety of fish and seafood and therefore inspire them to make it a choice and option for them in the future. As a result of COVID-19, Food Nation were no longer able to deliver face-to-face -face cookery classes and therefore developed home recipe kits, some of which included fish and seafood focused dishes. Each recipe kit provides households with ingredients, recipe cards and online recipe tutorials which are accessible on the YouTube channel Food Nation UK. Over 4,000 recipe kits have been provided and have demonstrated the willingness of the public to try new things when there is no associated risk factors such as the perception of cooking from fresh ingredients being expensive. The impact of the recipe kits has been vast and has transformed the way people think about cooking with fresh ingredients. Obviously we get the recipe kits from you guys weekly and it's very much opened my mind to like whatever dish you're throwing in now, I can adapt it. Like, a lot more fresh ingredients instead of, oh, can we just buy this and have it in the freezer? Or... Yeah, I think on, on the whole, everybody in this household has started to eat a lot healthier because of it. These recipe kits are an engagement and learning tool that have the potential to be scaled up to reach more people and can continually develop consumer confidence in the kitchen with more recipes and ingredients being added over time. We hope that the learning from our activities can be scaled up locally, replicated in other areas of the country or developed further afield in other places where similar barriers to establishing shorter fish supply chains might also be present.